It is the 26th of February 2019. Welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Ruthie Nasadian. These are the stories making the headlines across the country. And starting off the bulletin is a story from Padel, where the Aru South Member of Parliament, Samuel Odungauto, said he has quit the Forum for Democratic Change Party and intends to stand as an independent candidate in the 20. 21 general elections. He is, however, non joining a political party in the next election, but he will rebrand himself as an independent candidate and represent his people. The legislator said while bedridden after the accident, he reflected on his life. He said God spoke to him saying he should change his political approach to attend to the needs of the vulnerable people in his constituency since he has done a lot at national level. He announced his departure from the FDC camp on Saturday during a Thanksgiving service after surviving a road accident at Katugo Nakasongola on December 28th 2018 while driving from Gulu to Kampala. Now Monsua Matthew Dunga, the Vinka General of Gulu Diocese, presided over the prayers held at Mayor's Garden in Padel Town Council. Now news from Fort Porto Town. Health workers in the country have been warned against mishandling patients at healthy facilities, which is against their professional code of conduct. The professor, the director, sorry, for clinical services at the Ministry of Health, Dr. Charles Olara, said that many health workers act unprofessionally while on duty. An act, he said, scares many people from seeking medication from health facilities. or made their marks during the Association of Principles of Health Training Institutions in Uganda, the 11th Scientific Conference at Kalia Courts Hotel in Fort Porto Municipality yesterday. Now, Lara appealed to students in health training institutions to understand that the skills they attain from the institution should not go to west but be extended to the health centers where they are posted. You're still watching New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Ruth Inosita. Take a break. A look at what is making the headlines in today's copy of the New Vision. Now, for those who cannot access the hard copy of the new vision, the link is on your screen. All you have to do is to subscribe to our e paper and access all the products published by Vision Group. And those who have smartphones, you can download the Vision Group e paper app from your Play Store and access all the products published by Vision Group. You're still watching New Vision TV news around the Uganda. I am Ruth Nessis. Let us continue looking at more stories making the headlines across the country. Now, from Iganga, there is some sad news where nine people died instantly, while 12 others were admitted to hospital in critical condition when the 36th when the 30 seater minibus they are traveling in collided with a taxi at Wandago Trading Center on the Jinja Iganga Highway. The accident happened at around 12.30 a.m. when the minibus registration number that was heading to Iganga from Kampala collided with a taxi that was moving towards Zimbale from Kampala. Some of the injured were rushed to Jinja Hospital with broken legs, limbs and multiple wounds. One of the survivors, Joshua Musenza, said most of the passengers who were in the minibus were asleep at the time of the accident. Musenza said the passengers had earlier cautioned the driver against overspeeding but remained deaf to their pleas. Closing off the bulletin is a story from Kavalori District where several schools under the Universal Primary Education Program in Kavalori District have embraced the school feeding campaign being championed by the district leadership. The district has been implementing a parent-led school feeding program in line with guidelines for school feeding and nutrition issued by the Ministry 
of Education. The campaign is in line with the Education Act and an, ordina an ordinance passed by the District Council at Perry Archer Primary School in Cassandra Sub-County. Enrollment has more than doubled since the introduction of the program. Now, during a parents' meeting at Perry Archer Primary School, the Reverend Father Fabius Bainakanama who, who initiated the program say the enrollment has increased from 200 to 477 pupils because of the campaign. That's all I had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website, which is www.newvision.co.eug. You can also follow us on social media, where Facebook is The New Vision, Twitter is at New Vision Wire, Instagram is at New Vision Wire, and our YouTube channel is New Vision TV. Catch up with me on my Twitter handle. I am Ruth The Voice. Thank you for watching.